This picture is a video of a lot of moments in, on, and off this world. What are the odds that the greatest feat in professional sports wasn't captured on camera? We asked the question, did it even happen? So first, let's go over what happened that night. So according to an NBA.com article, on March 2nd, 1962, Will Chamberlain set the NBA single game scoring record by tallying 100 points for the Philadelphia Warriors in a 169 to 147 victory over the New York Knicks. The game was supposed to be a home game, but they played in Hershey, Pennsylvania as a marketing stunt for the NBA, which is the basis of the rumor that it didn't actually happen. But they did play against the Knicks, so why would you want to be the guy who had a hundred points scored on him. The Knicks starting center, Phil Jordan, was sidelined by the flu. Chamberlain, not to be contained by Daryl Emhoff and Cleveland Buckner, he scored 23 points in the first quarter and had 41 by halftime then tallied 28 in the third, and the fans began to chant, give it to Will. I'm sure anybody that was there that night would remember that specific moment. Even if it's not on camera, that's something that's unforgettable for the people that were there. Even if it happened in high school, Chamberlain took a pass from Joe Ruklick and hit a short shot with 46 seconds left to give him 100 points. Even though the game technically wasn't over, fans raced onto the court and play was halted as Chamberlain went to the locker room, where the PR man, Harvey Pollock, wrote, 100 on a piece of paper and had Chamberlain hold it up for photographers. Harvey Pollock and the rest of the marketing team understands the marketing power of Will Chamberlain. That's why they were doing the game in Hershey, Pennsylvania to market the NBA. But if they would have had a sign of 100 printed up instead of written out, that would be super suspicious. But that's not what happened. He wrote it on a piece of paper, which was genius of him and the whole team. Him scoring 100 wouldn't have been out of character for him. The NBA record at the time was 78 that he put up three months before that. So it's not like out of character. It wasn't just some guy off the bench that out of nowhere scored 100 points. It was some guy who's averaging 50 who happened to go crazy, but not crazier than he usually does. It was really normal. And even the 50 points a game wasn't out of the ordinary for this man at that time. It was really ridiculous. He didn't only have the most points, he played the most minutes. He played from the beginning to the end. He never got out the game. They had a new coach, so they completely relied on him. He never got out the game. So why wouldn't you just keep giving him the ball? They say 60% of his shots were fadeaways. The rest were dunks, but some of his game does translate. He was seven for one, rest in peace. As you can see here with Shaq, he's not a small guy. He would have had to adapt his game eventually, but at the time he was the best athlete in the world. I came into this video hoping to not really believe that he scored 100 points. But at this point, I think it makes sense. It wasn't out of the ordinary. The only thing that was kind of suspicious was that they played in Hershey, which was a marketing ploy by itself so it could all be a marketing ploy what do you think though let me know in the comment section peace